Thanks for tuning in. Again, this is a roughly a 62 Fender Jazz Bass Control Plate. Um, I call it 60s because there's a little bit of difference. I've got it uh, set up for independent volume control as opposed to Fender Standard uh, coming uh, attaching your hot pickups to here and here. I've got a you need to attach here and here for complete independent volume control. But it's basically a 62 uh, jazz bass control plate. You've got your volume here, tone here, closest to the plate. Uh, once again, uh, Kenman circuit bleed on here with a 0.001 microfarad capacitor paired in series with 150k resistor. You can kind of see it, they're both dipped in liquid electrical tape. That's my uh, idea ripped, ripped off from Maker's Mark, but it adds a little protection, keeps it from shorting out or anything like that. Uh, speaking of other dipped capacitors, these are 0.047 microfarads on here standard with some resistors connected in here on out in parallel uh, negative or ground I should say and you're hot pretty simple build it's just uh, bulky so you've got concentric pots these are CTS's that are rated at 250 and 500 so I put the volume up here instead of having to add like a 470 own resistor so your pickups will think that that's a 250 instead of a 500 so I flipped it to make it easier and a simpler build shouldn't make that much of a difference on your tone pot being at 500 I'll just read things a little differently uh, so here you've got fenders concentric knobs uh, I've got them aligned in this configuration that switchcraft jack uh, had to do some modding to get these to work together which is kind of odd this is like a CTS fender uh, sold that way CTS fender concentric pots and knobs yet this bottom one does not fit unless you do some magic to it so and just a quick explanation on why go for CTS or why you should go for CTS pots here are here's my prototype this was supposed to be my personal one that I would screw with and mess with and modify and blah 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 and all this weirdness just some just some creative ideas I'm messing with but the these are alphas made overseas made in Asia Taiwan I believe and I got these for the pots these will not fit on that these are metric this is SAE or in inches and <laughs> these will not fit and anyway they're, they're, they're actually kind of horrible if you notice on this one it's probably hard to catch on camera let's see if I spin this one see the top it's moving as well it's terrible is I don't know the quality of the alpha questionable and yeah I've, I've worked a lot on these but uh, it quickly burned out I quickly I didn't hold it for more than three seconds but just all the constant uh, soldering and desoldering and this that and the other this this pot's already shot this one right here so this it's a dead system I'm not selling you that. I'm just trying to convince you that the cheaper builds that you can find with alpha pots uh, I'd stay away from them they'll, they'll crap out on you anyway so my own personal one is dead. I'll have to build myself a better one <laughs> like this. When installing, you'll need to, I probably already mentioned this, but let's do it again to be safe. It's a little tight, but you'll have to attach your hot, your hot from your pickups to the center lug on top here. So this forward forward pot your hot your neck pickup hot will go on too or 
the middle line and likewise for the this this pot your bridge pickup pot should go will be wired here so you're going to be fighting with a jumper wire and the cap on this one so you have three little wires in there and it's also tight now in the product description on reverb I wrote you know if you're not feeling confident in your soldering skills to definitely get a pro or a guide through your local shop to, to install it for you because this one I could see that being pretty fiddly for somebody who's not uh, doing this all the time but it's doable it's com completely doable and then of course you know ground everything on the back of one of these pods however whichever one is uh, convenient for your pickups and your ground from your bridge so just put it on the back of one of these and you are good to go and again if you don't feel confident with it to get these two metal lugs soldered up to your hot wires get a professional